always been a bit of a control freak and I also like having a say in the end product or whatever I do and you know no better person than a conductor to do that so I at university started saying that I wanted to conduct and just you know kind of being a bit brave and saying I'd like to conduct have you thought about giving me a shot um, and then working really hard to show that you wanted to do it. I've probably had a big melting pot of experiences. So I started um, at the Queensland Conservatorium and I did a Bachelor of Music studying euphonium. And I think that's really where I kind of thought, well, there's probably one euphonium job in the country. And <laughs> if you heard me play euphonium, I was pretty good, but I was never going to be that one person. Uh, and so I just started thinking about how I was going to branch out and how I was going to pay my bills pretty much. Um, you know, doing music, which is what I love. There's learning to be done. You need to learn how to wave your arms in time and you need to have a, a sense of musicality, I think, and have an opinion on how something should go. But very much a lot of conducting uh, is learning on the job. My work as a conductor is so different because you really have to say yes to every opportunity that you get and no opportunity is the same, especially what I consider myself to be an emerging conductor, so someone very much at the beginning um, of my career. So I can't say, oh, I only conduct operas, I only conduct symphonies. Uh, I very much just say yes to whatever's offered to me.